Hey friends, this is the Miss of Ophie. Yeah, don't look at my hair. From our half acre homestead with a celery pool noodle update. How happy they are. They were a little dim at first and see, people ask me what I'm gonna do as they get bigger. I'm just gonna pull them up so that only the roots, see the roots, are in the water as they get bigger. I'll just pull them up, see? And now, since these guys are so happy, I'm gonna put some more in here. I didn't wanna do them all in case this didn't work. Okay, so I put the rest of the celery in from that bed. One of them was really big. So I just popped him down in between the pool noodles and brought his roots back up. These guys will all stand up eventually. And this one was so big, I before I realized I could put them in between, I actually split this pool noodle so this guy would get his roots into the water. I will give you an update in a couple of days. And for the folks that were concerned that the water wasn't going to get enough oxygen, it's really quite a simple um, thing to do. I can lift the entire plate of pool noodles off, dump that water into the garden, and give them fresh and fresh nutrients as needed. It really is an awesome setup. And as for the bigger ones, uh, the next time I make one of these, I'm going to put bigger pool noodles around the edges for the ones because you have, you do have to get them started first. Now I'm going to pull the weeds out of that bed and put a second planting of small planting of beans. Okay, so that bed now has beans, not many, but. All my four bean beds are coming into flower. I haven't been able to weed yet um, much, but in three days that I haven't been able to do potato bugs, well, I should have filmed it, but these things are covered in baby potato bugs, so I just diatomaceous earthed the entire potato patch. I also want to tell you that after I filmed that, I ended up getting an hour later a, a massive downpour washing all the all the um diatomaceous earth earth off the potatoes and it's been raining ever since so i had to go back out and do it today and i did some weeding as well but i didn't film it because i was really just going out to dust the potatoes but honestly folks never ever ever do it without wearing a mask if this, this stuff gets in your lungs it's really dangerous so thank you to my husband for the mask for dusting my potatoes. The uh, apricot tree is doing okay. Um, it's alive. That's, that's what we're hoping for. And my black currant bushes are loaded, loaded with berries. My big tomatoes are in flower. And there's my nasturtiums and my pole beans are starting to climb. And there are buddies. They're doing pretty good too. I had to actually take my cherry tomatoes and my uh, pickling cucumber vines down off those hooks because they've gotten too much rain and the tomato plants are going yellow. So I've actually had to take them out of, um, off of there and put them where they're going to get sun, but not rain. Hi. And t here is my Narragansett turkey chick and my sweetgrass turkey chick. There is an oven grate over the box because they're trying to get out. Yeah, it's a baby. There's a lot. Hi, baby. You want some mom? My goodness. And that's your turkey update. Since Buddy has arrived, the girls are upping the ante and giving me two to three eggs a day. Yes, thank you to my rooster, 
who is a permanent resident, thanks to my neighbors next door. This is the Mrs. Fulfie from our half acre homestead saying, I will update you again soon. And there's a couple of cooking videos coming. All right. Take care. God bless.